What's up everyone? All right, well, I am day trading with a Starlink in a Walmart parking lot here in upstate New York near the Adirondack Mountains. And so here's the thing. The last time I was traveling and trading, I was just using my mobile hotspot. And I thought to myself, you know, being dependent on just one source of internet, that's not great. The fact is today I'm up $1,400 trading and I don't want the fact that I only have three bars versus four bars of service mean the difference between making $1,400 or being zero on the day. So I got a backup and boy, the backup is awesome. It's a Starlink and I've got it right here on the roof. I've got the Verizon hotspot right next to it. Now we'll do a speed test comparison and actually down in the description, I'll put a link with um, to this PDF that I put together. The PDF has three sections. The first section is on the equipment for my traveling trading station. The second section <coughs> is on internet. And the third section is on strategy. The strategy that I use while I'm trading on the traveling trading station with this kind of internet. All right, so you could check that out down below. Now, what you'll see with the speed, speed test comparison is that by far the Starlink is faster. Uh, but I do think it's good to have a backup because it's always possible that the Starlink wouldn't work as well. So for instance, last night, the campground I was at had a lot of trees. And so I couldn't get the Starlink to work, but I had pretty good cell phone service. So I was at least able to use the internet and you know stream and do emails and watch some shows and stuff like that using just the hotspot. Uh, this morning, I came down here around 6.30 in the morning because I thought, you know, I want to be able to charge up the batteries with the solar panels. Big open parking lot, I think the Starlink will work better. And it, it, it happens to, but you do have to check the Starlink map, which I have the uh, info in the PDF. I have the map in there so you can check it out. Um, you have to check that because if I came to a Walmart that was outside the Starlink uh, service coverage area, then that wouldn't really work either. So it, it's, there's a little bit of, um, you know, you got to do a little bit of legwork, but you know, all things considered, it's not you know that bad so let's go inside the camper and i've got my bike mount mounted here on the back this thing that thing is fun all right so the starlink all of this cable here gives you tons of cable i just put it on the roof so no one like runs it over but i could probably just put it next to the car and then i've got uh, the starlink right here has its own uh its own modem so you get a little wireless router here and I've got a wireless network that covers the van. So my son is hanging out here. This is our, uh, our boys trip. But I said, I got to do a little bit of trading in the morning. Hey, I've got to pay for this boys trip somehow, right? So we're doing a little bit of trading here in the Walmart parking lot. And I thought I'd make this uh, video for you guys. So let me get my glasses on. Okay. So let's go ahead and do a speed test comparison. All right, so we're gonna start with, well, whatever I'm connected on right now, which is probably the Starlink, because that was the faster of the two. All right, so let me, let me go to speed test. I'm gonna go speedtest.net and confirm. I am connected to my network that's um, SpaceX Starlink. Okay, so we're gonna say go, and let's see where we're coming in at. Right now, we are coming in at 160, 179 megabits per second. Whew, smoking. That is... Now, listen, guys, when I was learning how to trade back in Vermont on DSL, uh, the internet was like 7, 8 megabits per second. Now, you're not going to make more money or be a more successful trader the faster the internet is. It's, it's not like that. But you need a certain base level in order to get market data and to have things streaming and not lagging. And this far exceeds that. And the ping is only 34 milliseconds. I mean, that's not bad. And that's to New York, New York, which is where, well, most data centers are actually in New Jersey, but anyways, that's fine. So, okay, so that is a fantastic speed test. And this morning I was broadcasting live on YouTube, on Facebook, sending the broadcast out, sending the broadcast out to all members, Warrior Pro, uh, all access members, no issues. And I mean, that's kind of, this is the dream, at least with anything that you're doing. The, day trading is just one of the things that you can do from anywhere, as you well know, I'm sure. Um, but, you know, the fact that you could do this from literally anywhere, it's made possible, not just from the mobile hotspot, but now with Starlink. I mean, this is really, really fast. So let's go ahead and 
Let me see if I can get connected. Uh, last, I was, see, I was having a hard time getting connected to Verizon before. Let's see, I'm gonna ref refresh this page. Um, all right, so now I'm on Verizon. Okay, and my phone is showing still three bars. It's finding an optimal server. Okay, this is already taking longer than expected. Uh, hello? And they think that I wanna buy some wine. Okay, interesting. So, so like right now, this thing is struck. I mean, okay, so we're at 56 milliseconds of, of lag, of uh, ping. That's not outrageous. The upload speed right now, or download speed is eight megabits. You know, so we're going slow. This is not, this, I mean, is this doable for checking your email? Sure. Could I trade on it? Yes, and I have before. Could I broadcast to YouTube on it? The upload speed's two megabits per second, three megabits per second, four, five, six, that's better, seven. All right, that's eight, okay. I mean, it's, a, it's very unusual that your upload's higher than your download, it's at nine. Uh, but, you know, that that's not terrible. Uh, certainly I've seen, I've seen worse. So, I mean, I think for me, it's just good to have a backup. And, but here's the thing. So I wanted to get, I wanted to add an AT&T because I saw some of the areas where I'd be traveling had uh, AT&T coverage and not as good on Verizon. And by the way, all of this is consolidated in the, in the PDF. So it's a PDF on day, traveling trading stations, whether you're RVing or traveling, you know, however you're traveling. We'll go through the equipment that I use for the traveling trading station. So the equipment, we'll talk about the internet and then we'll talk about the strategy. Uh, so you guys can check the link down below for that. But the thing is, even just for like <coughs> a, uh, a $40, $50 a month subscription for AT&T uh, for a hotspot, they do a credit check. And I have a credit hold. I, I put a freeze on my credit because some, someone tried to apply for like a small business loan for, I don't know, 100 grand or whatever. So all my credit is frozen. So you can't, you know, you can't do a credit check on me. And they're like, nope, sorry. And I'm like, this is like $40, $50 a month. Are you kidding me? You're doing a credit check for that? You know, you don't have to do a credit check when you sign up for, you know, HBO streaming or Netflix or whatever. Um, but the, some of these legacy companies like, you know, the cell phone companies and DirecTV, I mean, they're they're just like not with the times. So with Starlink, it's, uh, you, you can pay on the website and then you have a monthly subscription. I think it's 125 or $135 a month. I'm not like an, any affiliate, so do what you want but uh, it's not that expensive. And then, um, yeah, and there's no credit check. You just, you just do it. And then you can pause it, I guess, at any time. So anyways, um, I'm pretty pleased with having that at least as a backup. And where I go tonight, you know, we'll see. Maybe the internet will be really good uh, on my phone and I'll be okay with, maybe if I have 5G, I'll, I'll be like, okay, that's fine. I can use 5G. Uh, but right here, the Verizon's just not quite strong enough. So then when it comes to strategy, the focus for me and the whole idea of trading and traveling is to trade for as little amount of time as possible in order to just kind of like make a little bit of money and then go off and enjoy the rest of the day. So that for me is gap and go micro pullback on breaking news. And that's the strategy that I'll break down for you guys in that PDF. So check that out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little episode of day trading in a Walmart parking lot and day trading with Starlink. All right, I'll see you guys for the next episode. And hey, if you wanna check out another one, I'll put a recommendation to one of my popular videos right here. All right, so check that out.